Hi guys, Mr. Ruffwaffles here. It's that time again when I go to an event with EA and all of a sudden a load of Call of Duty news starts coming up and so I've got to cover it from the event. So I'm here at EA Play right now, which is why this looks like a hotel, because it is a hotel, but we've got some COD news to talk about. So Call of Duty World War II's worldwide reveal is happening in three days from now and the viral website that they set up a few weeks ago or even like months ago at this point, it was a while ago anyway, that myself and Porter did a load of work on basically cracking codes for you guys so that you could get that exclusive calling card, link in the corner of the screen just over there. That website has been updated and now has some new interesting stuff on it that we're going to be talking about today. So a little bit of a recap, this is what the website looks like when you sort of get onto it. You can put in five codes, which I'll have in the description down below. When you put those codes in, it's going to give you the following message. Take the beaches and trees now which is a little bit of a weird one because sure, take the beaches, but Take the trees? I don't know, like, maybe that's a gap in my sort of historical knowledge. It just sounds a little strange. Anyway, moving swiftly on, we get that message and then we get into the site and you'll notice that there's a change to how it looked before. Before, we had the dossiers and that's where we got the first in, first to win thing when Porter and I cracked those codes for you guys. But now, there's a, quite handily a clipboard that says new intel. So, what I really quickly want to do first is basically just skip back over to the dossiers just to sort of remind you guys what those things look like, specifically this page here, or these pages here, because these are the zombies related pages. These are somehow related to the zombies mode in World War II, and we don't know quite what that's going to manifest itself as, either in the reveal, or in a future marketing material, or in the game itself right now. There have been links that people have been drawing towards Operation Barbarossa and things like that, and the painting of Raphael, which was stolen and was passed around and sort of lost throughout the war and all sorts of business. So there's definitely links to draw there, but the true meaning, I would say, is still unclear, but that's not the point of this video. We're going to go back now to that sort of homepage and go over to this thing on the left, because... That's basically where all the new intel is, as that sort of arrow on that clipboard suggests. It's a radio, could call it a walkie-talkie if you wanted to, that's what I believe they're referring to it as in the file names, but it's a radio of sorts, and you can flick certain switches on it. And so, if you flick the top left switch, the bottom left switch, and the sort of middle right switch, without touching the frequency dial in the middle, you'll get a kind of fade out, and this stuff will pop up, just here. Those. So, these are essentially, I guess, some extra dossiers that are probably going to be related to the reveal that they're going to be doing on three days from now, in three days from now. I don't want to say a certain day because I can't actually remember if it's Monday or Tuesday. I don't know what day it is right now. So, this happens every time I go abroad, seriously. I lose track of everything. Lose track of time, lose track of my sleeping pattern, the days of the week. Anyway, that's besides the point. So, new dossiers. And so, what I've done here is basically open them up for you, and I've zoomed in on the contents so you can actually see a little bit more clearly what these images are. There's four images in total plus the two covers. So the first is going to be, I guess, this kind of broken wall here, and you've got the forest in the background. Then there's a cabin in the woods. This is Rossman's hut from Transit, no doubt. Moving swiftly on, we've got the second cover, of course, and inside that second cover, you've got a kind of MG42, it looks like, mounted on a wall there, and uh, this one really gives me like a Nachtron Totem vibe, despite the fact that it's looking out across what looks like some kind of port, or certainly a beach of some kind. Take the trees and the beaches now, eh? And then finally, we've got another image that really gives me another Nachtron Totem vibe, because I guess it's like a kind of bunker that's a bit broken down, and you've got the barbed wire sort of hanging around and stuff. You've got some vines on this one, which is interesting, so... That's cool, but yeah, they are the four images, but, 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 that's not everything. Because if you think back to the walkie-talkie box that I showed you a minute ago, the radio, you'll remember, no doubt, that there was a frequency dial on there. And if we turn the frequency dial, we can actually activate several different sounds and get them to play. And so what I've done in this video, and what I'm going to do for the rest of this video, rather, is basically 
play all of those sounds for you in their full form, but I'm also going to show you the basically spectral frequency analysis of them that you can do with just sort of software on your PC to look at if there's any hidden messages basically embedded within those audio files. They did it for GK Nova 6, they did it for Enhance Yourself for a Better Tomorrow.info, I remember, and I'm sure you guys remember as well if you were around back then on my channel, that I went through a whole dialogue with the unmarked man who was basically the sort of secret um, agent, I suppose, that Treyarch were using in their viral campaign for Black Ops 3, and some of the messages that we got through the Unmarked Man and through the Call of Duty Dr. Salim Snapchat stories and all of that ended up having secret spectral messages hidden in there. So I figured I would do the same thing here and let you guys decide if you think there is something in there or there isn't. But without further ado, I mean, there's a fair few minutes of this thing, so I'm just going to play them now. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed, then leave a like and make sure you're subscribed in case there's more added to this website in the next few days. I mean, they might do an update a day. You never know. So make sure you've subscribed. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.